Do you remember? No. No, I don't. God, can you believe it? A night so hideous and I don't even remember it happening to me. Oh, my God. Seem relieved? Well, yeah, I am for you. No. Yeah. And you shouldn't have to remember anything like that. You shouldn't have pestered me into telling you about it. I would have found out sooner or later. It just seems unfair that you have to live with the memory of what that bastard did to you. Bastards? What's that? But he said there were three of them and that it was a gang rape. Yeah, that's right. There were three of them. He was so drunk. Huh. Real manly. I mean, that someone hated me that much to get that kind of revenge, it's, uh... It's beyond understanding. Yeah, it is. What happened to them? I mean, where are they now? Okay. I'm just a little drenched and a little buzzed. Uh, that's really why. <laughs> Wait a minute, this look, um, this wet look, it looks good on you. You like this, Yeah, huh? you should try at the station sometime. Just walk in like this. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I bet you, if you walked in buck naked, gave him that intimidating look of yours, nobody would say anything to you. Me intimidating? I doubt it. Yeah, you intimidating. You betcha. Do I intimidate you? What do you think? Well, I think that's enough for one night. No. No, I want to know exactly what happened to the three men who raped me. Are they still out there? Yeah, they're still around, but trust me, <laughs> they didn't get away with it. So they went to prison? Yes. Are they still there? One of them is. One of them? It's complicated. How complicated? Marty, just believe me when I tell you that they, they paid for what they did to you, okay? But, but getting out and, and walking around free, getting back to their lives? They don't have lives. One of them is in prison, like I told you, and the other one, <laughs> the other one went a little bonkers and ended up in a mental institution so and the third one he's free he's free you'd call it that sweet let me get this straight the one who instigated the gang rape is already out of prison he got pardoned why now you know like i said it's complicated it's i'll tell you one thing i know that he uh even though he didn't go to prison he's uh, he's suffered enough He's still suffering. I mean, he thinks about it every day of his life, every minute of his life, what he did to you. And he's got nothing. He's totally alone. I'm glad you got me away from my work tonight. I'm glad you uh, let me yammer on. Guess I should head home. But you said everyone was asleep. I did. men to rape me is alone <laughs> and that's supposed to be punishment enough I don't think you quite understand no I don't understand and and I don't remember you don't remember anything at all nope and how sick is this I'm actually sitting here trying to remember trying to remember being gang raped <laughs> I'm sorry I made you no, no, tell wait, you. No, don't apologize to me. Marty, don't ever apologize to me. Don't apologize about anything that happened to you. None of that was your fault. I know. No, you don't know. 
These sick bastards locked you in a room and terrorized you. That's not your fault. I'm sorry that I've made you suffer through it again, telling you about it. It wasn't your fault. Nothing you could have done. Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was. I could have stopped it. <clears throat> I could have stopped it, Marty. I didn't. I didn't stop it because I'm a coward. Just because you were at the party, you, you think you could have stopped them? How could you possibly have known what they were going to do? Yeah, I guess. I'm sorry. I just wish that I could go back and change things at all. I appreciate that. But guess what? You're doing a lot for me now. I don't know. It doesn't seem like enough. What? You saved my life after Lee was murdered. You've taken care of me. You've given me a place to stay. So would you stop? No, stop. Stop it. Just stop feeling guilty for something that happened to me so long ago that I can't even remember. Because you know what? It's wasted energy. Why don't you put it into something that's more useful? Fix a few of those relationships with the people that you love. I'll stay here? Well, there's no way you're gonna get a cab at this hour, you know? The storm will. I have my car. You also had a few drinks? It was more like half a bottle. Hmm. <laughs> well, I drive you. But you split that bottle. Yeah. Really come down. May not let up for a while. You know, you're right. I, I shouldn't turn. You know, I'm a cop. We know these things. Oh, so it's Detective John McBain that says I should stay here. Him too. Well, then I guess I don't have a choice. We're just going to have to ride this storm out right here. My three of clothes in the dryer? What would I put on in the meantime? I could lend you something. It's a good thing I look good in black. Everything I have isn't black. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. Let me sneak a little peek. Oh, I must have hit the black floor. Black. Oh, yet another. There's probably some sweats in there. And what color would those be? Navy. Now, you must feel very adventurous oh. when you wear that, huh? This is my underwear drawer. No one sees my underwear drawer. Okay, I just did. Got a lot of attitude, you know that? You know it. I do. You can uh, give me those sweats. I'm changing the bathroom. Great. You don't have any relationships, really. They've all been taken away from me. Got me. Yeah, well, congratulations. All I seem to do for you is torture you about your past. The things you don't even remember. I needed to know. Well, you're more forgiving than I am, that's for sure. Yeah. You okay? I know it's a storm, but I don't know why. I'm just a little... Uh... I'm frightened. Well, you know what? There was a storm that night. 
Being in the storm and not being able to move. That's what makes me uncomfortable. Okay, sure. I'll just, uh... <laughs> I'll pull up a chair. <laughs> You're right here. Huh. Thank you. I just want you to know that I'm never going to let anyone hurt you again. Ever.